Okay, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to keep looking into how Webpack loads files, specifically style sheets. We'll introduce the concept of loaders and how Webpack uses them to handle various file types. All right, so here we are back in the terminal. Let's create a new CSS file. Let's open it up and add something simple. Like the color red. Now in our main.js, we're going to require main CSS. Now let's run the Webpack dev server. So it throws an error. You may need an appropriate loader to handle this file type. So what this error is saying is Webpack doesn't know every language. It just knows JavaScript. It relies on an ecosystem of loaders to handle other types of files. We'll get deep into loaders soon. For now, let's add two loader packages via the terminal to get this CSS working. So we're going to control C out of the dev server. Then let's npm install style loader and CSS loader. In your Webpack config, you're going to add a module object underneath dev server. Within that object, you're going to add a rules array. Now these are the rules that Webpack will use when it encounters various file types. The array takes an object, which takes a test parameter. The test parameter takes a regular expression, indicating the file extension that you want to target. It also takes a use parameter, which is an array. And this is where you specify your loaders. We're going to put in the style loader and the CSS loader. Now these loaders will run in reverse order. Webpack will run the CSS loader first. And once that's done linting the file, it will then pass to the style loader. The style loader is responsible for injecting the CSS into the HTML. So let's run our Webpack dev server again. It seems to be built correctly. And you can see that main CSS is included. So how does this look in the browser? We have color. Now if you look at the head, you can see that the style loader injected the CSS in a style tag in the header. Let's make this hello world a little prettier. If you're following along, press save after every line. Let's give the body a margin zero and a background color of dark gray. Now let's give our hello world header let's brighten it up with the color white every time I save you can see the browser is updating We're going to use Flexbox to center this. We're going to make the font prettier. And finally, we're going to add a text shadow to give it a bit of depth. Very nice. And the browser just keeps reloading on the fly as I save the file. Now let's imagine we make a syntax error, leaving off a semicolon, and we save it. We can see that in the console, Webpack gives us the error and where we need to fix it. Now that's pretty cool. In this episode, we learned how to add CSS loaders to get styles auto-reloading in the browser. 
We then tested a bit of the CSS linting Webpack gives us. Next, we'll continue our discussion of loaders by seeing how Webpack handles HTML and image files. See you there.